Hello there, I'm the Black Rose and I am very pleased to announce that the channel has become monetized. That's right, we did it. When I started the channel, my original goal was to have 100 subscribers by Starfield's original release date. Of course, the game was delayed, but by that time, over 400 of you had already been so generous as to support me with your subscription. And now there's over a thousand of you. So thank you so much to all my subscribers, we did this together. Whenever I say we in my videos, like when I say we must discuss, I mean me and you. We are all part of what makes the Bethesda community so great. I also want to say thank you to similar content creators that came before me, such as The Epic Nate, Camel, Mr. Matty Plays, Fudge Muppet, Drew Mora, Oxhorn, Lone Vault Wanderer, Alana Pierce, and Chat of Fallout 76 Podcast, and so many more. I learned so much from watching all of you and enjoyed myself along the way, so thank you for inspiring me to become a YouTuber and for showing me how it's done. I'd also like to thank Bethesda and other companies I've covered for entertaining me and inspiring me. In light of this big development for my channel, I also have a few announcements. I've set up a few membership options for the channel. There's Foos, Ro, and Da right now. Foos is $1.99 a month, and it gives you some emojis and loyalty badges, but its major perk is that you get priority reply to comments, and your comments are highlighted. So if you're a Foos member, I will respond to your comments as long as they are reasonable in length, and that they're not just mean rants about something. Next there's Ro, which is $4.99 a month, and you get all the benefits of Foos, and you'll also get early access to new videos. And you can participate in member-only polls. As soon as people start signing up, I'll start sending out polls to get your input on future content. For example, I might send one out that says, what do you want me to make next, and I'll give you a choice of, let's say, the Great Sea Collapse, the original Dawn Guard, and what's making the fog worse in Far Harbor. And row members would be able to vote, and I would put strong consideration into that input. Lastly, there's DAW, which includes all of the benefits I've covered already, but has more. It's $9.99 a month, and with DAW you can actually add me on Xbox and we can play games together. Once enough people sign up, I'll start hosting custom games in Halo MCC. DAW members can also participate in my monthly AMA sessions. And in those, you can ask me whatever you want, about behind the scenes of making my videos, something about Bethesda, another franchise, whatever you want. And you'll be included in staff credits at the end of my videos. In addition to memberships, I've also added super chats. Anyone can do these, you don't have to be a member. What you do is you click on this little dollar sign in a heart here, and you can send a comment, and this comment will be highlighted. In other news, the next mystery video is underway. You can check out the Riddle teaser for it in the Discord server. And if you think you have it figured out, do not be shy about saying something. They really aren't difficult, and I think the current one is actually the easiest one yet. I also want to address the question, will I ever cover non-Bethesda franchises again? So I won't rule out that possibility eventually, but in the foreseeable future it will be all Bethesda. Going in, I knew that I wanted that to be the foundation of my channel, so I'm very glad that that's the content you guys like the best as well. If you do want to talk to me about another franchise, then I recommend that you become a DA member, and we can do that during the AMA sessions. Currently, I'm working off of a roadmap between now and Starfield's release date. I plan to spend the next few months on a few more mystery videos, and if there is news, I will cover it. I still am expecting there to be a Constellation Questions talking Starfield designs with Emil Pagliarulo. And when Starfield does come out, I actually hope to livestream my first time playing it. And once Starfield is out, I'll of course be spending most of my time on that. So once again, thank you for helping me reach this milestone. I could not have done this without you. Now it's time to celebrate. I remember when I was first starting out, one of my friends who's probably watching right now asked me if I had a plan for what I'd do if I reached this point. And here's the answer. Since day one, there has never been any question about how I was going to celebrate this day. So without further ado, one, two, three, four... It's the